What's up, dudes and dudes here in my name is Ayushi, and we are back in from all <clears throat> It's been a long, long time. What feels like forever since we ended up doing a pack review, but we finally got a new one. Uh, it is weirdly not available in the deal section. Okay, whatever, that makes sense. Not available in the new section. Maybe someone on the dev team made a little bit of a mistake and left out a line of code or something like that. I don't know, but it's actually over in the style section. There's the brilliant books pack. So we're going to be going through the items. I haven't seen any of these. I basically just bought the pack, selected them and equipped them, but I didn't take a good look at them. So first of all, we've got the Revenant costume, as you can see. Very good Revenant costume. It doesn't come with this helmet, keep in mind. Normally it's just the spear, the costume itself. I really like it. I really like the color palette. I I mean, it's supposed to be like all this book and quill business, but to me, it just looks like a badass knight, like frankly speaking. Uh, you know, he's got, I guess his spear is a giant pen, but he's got like his stabby stabby. He's got his shield bash. Doesn't seem like any VFX changes. No surprise there, because that's pretty typical for uh, uh, Trove costumes and what have you. So now that that's gone away, uh, we can look at the little ally right here, which let me see. Freeze companion. Freeze underscore companion is literally how you get them frozen, but you can only do it in club worlds. And I mean, it's yeah, it's a book and quill. Cool, whatever. Uh, it gives 50 light and 0.5% crit hit. Watch it fly. I don't know. Kind of makes me think of Disney, you know, like with how they always have like household items being like creatures. Uh, and then there's a less serious lamp ally. So this one gives 150 light, five max energy. Knowledge is light. You, if you say so. Um, oh, it does actually have some light VFX. In fact, it seems like it's got the Fireflies VFX coming out of it. That's kind of interesting. Uh, if we get a look at the inside, it does have like a light source or a torch or something like that. Hey, Croc. It seems to be on a floating book, which is weird. Oh, I see it. I can see it from this angle. There's a little candle inside it. Okay, so there's actually an ally that looks very similar to that. So it looks like they've kind of put the skeleton of one ally in another ally or something. It's, I don't know, it's cool, it's interesting, whatever. Uh, I think that's it for the allies. Then we got the mounts. So we got this bird right here who's got spectacles. Whoever said you didn't see an intelligent crow. Uh, it's just a pudgy reskin, right? And unfortunately, as you can see, I paid money for this. The head is off center. Um, devs, please fix that. It's bothering me. Actually, you know what? I kind of like it with its neck broke. It's a little tough to see because of my Revenant being a very similar color theme, but you can totally see like the center of the neck uh, of the body is not in line with the center of the neck on the head. So that's a very simple fix as in just go into the mod file and move the uh, joint block over one. Is Trove models will understand it takes two seconds. I I don't know. It just goes to show that they didn't test this though. Uh, and then there's going to end up being another mount. Uh, does this one fly by the way? No, it doesn't. But we got this mount right here. All work and no play. The tacky typewriter. I'm typing with my butt. All right, whatever. I, oh, it's a vehicle with wheels. That's kind of weird. I like this mount. I don't know if I'm ever going to rock any of these mounts, like ever, because there's 5 billion different mounts in this game anyways. But I will say again, I genuinely really like the color palette of all of these. Like, I think that they actually look really, really nice. Even if the typewriter is dragging through the dirt, I don't know why. Uh, I think then, yeah, I think the only other thing is the wings. So let's take a gander at those. It's been a long time since we had a pack with wings. That's a bit odd that it doesn't actually have any VFX for popping into existence. Kind of seems like a bit of an oversight or a mistake. Uh, but the wings it's themselves, you can see, are very high quality in their drawing, you know, the shading work and everything like that. It basically seems like it's a bunch of books with a bunch of quills coming out of it. I, you know, no complaints, really. Purple and gold, sure. Uh, again, it's not going to be wings that I myself am going to end up like actually rocking. But it's cool that they actually have another set of wings because we haven't had another set of wings in a very long time out of all of the packs. 
Overall, what would I end up rating the pack? Would I think that it's worthwhile? Well, technically it is 2000 credits, so you have to spend 15, AKA 20 US dollars in order to get it. Uh, you do get a decent amount of mastery out of it just because of the wings being 100. The costume, unfortunately, is 70, so whatever. But overall, would I say that the pack is worth getting? Yeah, probably. I don't know. It's a little bit pricey. It depends if you're really, really into this style. Again, I think the highlight for me is the Revenant costume it actually looks really good and fits very well with this helmet, which is the uh, just the Revenant level 10 helmet. In fact, let me... Um, let me see if I can get an Air Revenant helmet. Like, will his maxed out costume helmet work? I mean, kind of. It's the right color palette. Cosmic one looks a lot better with it. Yeah. Overall, very good Revenant costume. And, uh, you know, the rest of the things out of the pack are not bad per se. It's just, I can't help but feel, you know, this is a synopsis of all the packs. I can't help but feel there are too many items in this game to make any of this stuff worth noting. You know what I mean? I, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I've been playing this game too long. Cool pack though. Uh, I'll try my best to end up making shorts of all of the different individual items as well. Uh, but I kind of got my hands full with a lot of our projects today. In any case, I hope you ended up enjoying today's video. Be sure to smash like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because the notifications never go out to you guys anymore. And then otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. You can leave a comment and say whether or not you think the pack is, pack is worth it. Say yay or nay. Or just say, hey, I, I like I like this video game.